Welcome to Offbeat Look with Camille Johnson on beauty, fashion, and hair. Hey guys, it's Camille, and today I'm going to show you how I did this Flappy Bird nail design. Flappy Bird is a simple game that will get you as addicted as a crackhead, but ruin your life even more. So I decided to paint it on my nails. Let's get started. First you'll need some nail brushes to paint this evil demon. Get a long one and a shorter one. You'll also need a big and small dotting tool, or a double-ended one like this. You need a clear nail polish and a blue similar to the sky in the game. This is Elf's top coat and Simple Colors Greek Isles. This is a plastic paint mixing wheel that I use to put my paint on because that's what it's freaking for and you can tell because I just said that in the thing's name. You'll need a bunch of paint as well. These are little bottles of acrylic paint that I got from Joanne's fabric store for less than a dollar each. You need a red, orange, yellow, some greens, black, and white. You can use acrylic paint on nails if you put it over nail polish and seal it in. Also, I always have a product list with everything I used on my blog. Start by painting your nails with a clear coat. This will protect your nails from yellowing and chipping, and protect your soul from getting addicted to this game. I say that to make you feel better, cause there's really no way out once you're sucked in, but it's nice to think so. Now paint your nails with the blue as evenly as possible. Try to find a color that is close to the sky background in the game, and not too dark. Once you're done this, let it dry for a bit, but do not play the game while it's drying or you'll mess up your nails. Give them a second coat with this same color to build the opacity and put another layer of protection between you and this evil flapping bird. Let that dry too, and I repeat, do not play this game while it's drying. Now guess what we're putting on our paint holder? You guessed it, paint. Always shake it first, then squirt out the tiniest amount you can. It's surprising how little you need for this manicure, like how surprising it is that Flappy Bird's little wings can support him, but a little goes a long way. Now get a lighter green, or separately mix this one with a white, and put it on the plate. With a short brush, get the darker green, and start painting one of the tubes in the game on your middle finger, cause that's the finger you want to give the bird when it keeps dying for no reason. You want to paint about three-fourths of the tube in this color and do the other side of the tube with the lighter green so it can act as a highlight. Just wipe off your brush before you change colors. Add a second layer if the first isn't dark enough. Now repeat the same thing on the bottom, the tube that my bird ALWAYS DIES ON! Now repeat the same thing on your pinky finger. Now you need yellow for the demon er, bird's body. Dip your big dotting tool into it and use this to make an oval shape in the middle of your nail. The roundness of the dotting tool makes making circular shapes a lot easier to make. Do this on your pointer and ring fingers. Use white paint and the big dotting tool to add clouds around the bird. Notice how easy it is to make clouds with this. While that dries, use orange to make the shapes of the all too familiar words, game over, as they appear on the end screen of the game. If you don't remember what they look like, then just play the game for 15 seconds and you'll get to see them. Use the same orange on the bottom of the bird's body, then squirt out some red paint for the lips. Use a brush to make an uneven, rounded heart shape for the lips, because it crushes my heart every time I lose this game, so it's probably disfigured and lopsided like these lips by now. I like to wipe off the brush on my hand, because it's easy and it comes off with soap and water anyway. Use white paint for those tiny little wings that don't support the bird very well, since it has to flap every half second to stay in flight. With the small dotting tool, add a bulging eye, like in the game. This bird sees everything. It sees every time you throw your phone in frustration and laughs at you with its friends. Get some black paint and a long, thin brush for detail work so you can outline this little flying jerk and the tubes that he flies through. It looks a lot better once it's outlined. 
I use longer, thinner brushes for this, so they give thinner lines. But I need to find my other detail brush because this one's kind of fat for this job, like how the bird is kind of fat for its wings. This is why you don't skip arms at the gym, flappy bird. Do the same thing with the game over part. This is the most important part of the design, because let's face it, this is the graphic I've seen most while playing this game. Here I added another white circle to the eye to make the outline look a little better. Then I gave the thing a pupil with a little bit of black paint. Let all the paint dry for about 20 minutes so it doesn't smudge, then add a clear coat to seal it all in. Don't forget it or all your hard work will disappear the next time you wash your hands. Let your nails dry, then play the friggin' game. I guarantee you that you will beat your highest score because these nails are a power-up. I finally beat my high score of 5 and got an 8 and actually caught it on camera, so I'm gonna go feel proud of myself now. Bye! Just kidding, I'm gonna tell you to comment telling me what you think about these nails first, and that if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Now I can go feel proud of myself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Kisses.